Hi, my name is Justin Barker. Um, I hired Jacobs and Sons Moving um, in late October to uh, move us from New Smyrna Beach, Florida to um, Lehigh, Utah, just outside of Salt Lake City. Cross country move. And the, um, the estimator goes through with you. His name is Josh or Marty Winkler and then his manager, Josh Levy. They had my wife and I go through every room of the house, box by box, is it small, medium, large, extra large, wardrobe, small, medium, large, picture box, small, medium, large, count every one of them, give them the dimensions, add up all of that, um, give them the size and scope of, of every shape of every piece of furniture, and on and on. They came up with about 1,300 cubic feet. So the estimate was roughly just over, or just under $7,000, which I was happy to pay. So they assured me that they'll be with us through every step of the way. Well, let me tell you what happened. The moment you sign that, quote, by a non-binding waiver or non-binding um, estimate and you pay a deposit, the, the, uh, the movers schedule the time for the guys to come to the house to pack your stuff and put it on the truck. By the way, we packed all our own boxes, everything like that. The only thing that they had to do was pack up the big furniture like um, dressers, couches, that kind of thing. One couch, one desk, a couple of uh, armoires, that kind of thing. And... The majority of what we put on the truck was boxes and bins. So the, the packing guys get there and their eyes are wide open. They said, you're way over 1,300 cubic feet. So when I said to them, well, what do you mean we're way over? He said, you're, you're going to be way over. Well, anyway, they packed the truck. And at the very end of it, they make us, force us, by the way, because the stuff's now already on the truck, force us to sign another revised estimate, second estimate, that changes the entire dimension of it. Now... They're miraculously another 900 cubic feet. So now we're, we're almost double the amount of what was on the truck. So the beginning went from 1,300, now it's another 900, which by the way, at $4.40 something cents per cubic feet, do the math. It's an exceptional amount, it's a crazy amount of money, extra. So they finally load up everything, then they tell you they're gonna move, they're gonna take the truck from Florida to the other side of Florida, load it onto an 18 wheeler, and that will deliver to our location in Utah. So when we, we, um, the whole time during the estimate phase, this guy, Marty and Josh, oh, we'll be here for you the whole time. No worries. If anything happens on the day, if they have to add extra boxes, all they're going to charge you for is the cubic feet of that box. Well, that's a scam. That's a lie. That is not true. They told us they'll be here for us the entire time. They would not over 25 phone calls and emails. Not one single call was returned. Not one single email was returned. And finally, after everything was en route to Utah, I get a call from an adjuster. Her name was Connie. And Connie was, matter of fact, black and white. This is how it is. Sorry that happened. Sometimes these things, they're wrong. And they said, well, you did add a couple of extra bins, one headboard and one footboard and a couple of extra boxes. I said, yeah, which I'm happy to pay for. Well, somehow that turned into 900 something square feet, which is close to 4,000 uh, cubic feet, excuse me, not close to $4,000. Um... And it was a complete and total scam from the beginning. Well, the movers get here. By the way, all of our boxes that were marked fragile had three stickers in giant red stickers that marked fragile. Do you think they cared about where they went on the box? No. So my wife took all kinds of pictures when the bus, the truck finally got here. The stuff looked like it had been dumped off, you know, haphazardly. Fragile China at the very bottom of everything with all this furniture and all these other boxes stacked on top. Did they care? Not one single bit. Folks, listen to me. Do not hire Jacobs and Sons. Run from them. When you, when you get a call from them, if you call, if you call to get an estimate from them, you might as well double it because they're lying to you completely. I will never, ever, ever use them again. And I strongly recommend that you don't as well. I'm sorry that this is so negative on Thanksgiving Day, but we are devastated. Our family, uh, they finally show up yesterday and our family, they, all the boxes come in and they're just crushed, crushed. So now they tell us we have 30 days to go through and find everything that's damaged and broken. Well, imagine that. All I can tell you is uh, don't, don't, don't mess with this company. Go with somebody else. Go with a, a single truck company. Pay the extra uh, money that it sounds like it's going to be up front. But as long as it's their people with their truck and it never transfers, um, hopefully you, you have better success. But I fell for it. I read the reviews online. Most of them were good. I thought, okay, these guys are good. Marty Winkler sold me a total bill of goods. This other Josh Levy character, another liar. 
total scam artists. So again, run, take care.